Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the esteemed FaceTime with Leaders and Initiative by World Development Corporation. My name is Tane Ol, and I'm an anchor at World Development Corporation. FaceTime with Leaders is a platform for industry titans to come together to share their knowledge, ideas, thoughts, and best practices with one another, as well as with upcoming industry leaders. In a nutshell, we attempt to encapsulate the multi-decadal learnings of all our industry followers. We hope that by conducting these FaceTime with Leader interviews, we can bring together a global community of eminent personalities. By bringing together such visionaries on one platform, we truly hope to play a part in inspiring the lives of other leaders. Great learnings from great leaders undoubtedly assist everyone as they help us to identify, nurture, and work on trade secrets that have already proven a success formula for so many. And this is what we aim for with these sessions by making them a gathering of industry stalwarts and a knowledge sharing community. We have one such industry giant on FaceTime with leaders with us today, Mr. Rishi Nandwana. We welcome you on the show, sir. Thank you very much. With a distinguished career spanning over two decades, he is recognized as a prominent figure in the telecom industry. In his domain of expertise, he is specializing in cutting-edge technologies such as 5G and R, LTE, Uran, IoT, Massive, MIMO, and so on solutions with expertise in product strategy, management, and architecture. He is renowned for his visionary leadership in radio access network product strategy and development backed by extensive experience in RA and system engineering, solutions design, delivery, and implementation. As the head of 5G pre-sales and strategy at VVDN Technologies, he plays a crucial role in developing architectural plans, designing and ensuring the smooth implementation of cutting-edge telecom RAN solutions. At the forefront of innovation, he guides the strategic direction for 5G and wireless technologies meticulously shaping the product roadmap and wielding considerable decision-making power in product development. So, sir, you have a really vast portfolio in the telecom domain and have spearheaded numerous projects in the industry. Our viewers would like to know how and when did you develop an interest in your field? Uh, good morning, Tane, and I'm really happy to interact with you this morning. And uh, you asked the right question, and uh, I would like to start uh, the answer with some philosophical way. Right? A road is built before traffic runs over it, right? A path is made prior to commencement of a journey. It seems as though my professional journey was intric intricately crafted by nature itself. My career path resonates deeply with my interests my areas of expertise and what I love to do. As I navigate through my professional endeavors, I find that solving both small and big problems has become second nature to me. With each challenge overcome, my expertise continues to expand by solving the problem, by doing a lot of unknown known things in unknown domains and unknown things in unknown domains. That way I was able to enhance my vertical knowledge and more deeper and deeper understanding of the ecosystem and subject. The technology domain in the telecom sector specifically is uh, very fast moving, very fast changing. Right? And it served as a fuel to my learning further, propelling my journey towards this technology domain further forward. I consider myself very fortunate uh, to have gained expertise across various domains, allowing me to broaden my horizon of uh, uh, knowledge and understanding. And with every project I undertaken and every obstacle that come on the way, I find myself drawn further into the depths of knowledge and expertise. My journey is a testament to the power of dedication, passion, continuous learning. And as I continue to trade on this path, I am filled with gratitude for the opportunities that have shaped my professional trajectory. I, I hope that's, that, that's a good yeah. answer. Yeah, 100% sir. So which project do you cherish the most, namely owing to the learnings you've taken, remarkable achievements you've made, etc.? Okay, so uh, during the early stages of my career, uh, I was primarily dedicating myself on the solution planning and the operations within the cellular networks. And that has been a great time, a lot of learning and understanding of the ecosystem. 
However, a transition point came into my life when I joined Cisco uh, almost five or six years back. And that's how my product journey started. I started creating the product rather than just creating solutions or using those products. Now I was stepping into the product creation journey. And then that, that journey further uh, enhanced uh, when, when my tenure with STL in the product development and further deepened in VVDN where my engagement is in very deep into engineering collaborations. And one of my proudest accomplishment was spearheading the creation of India's first 5G ORU, what we call it ORN radio unit. Mm. And that was a groundbreaking achievement. It marked a significant milestone in the technology roadmap because this particular product was entirely designed, developed and manufactured in India first time. So that was the first indigenous development of 5G radio in India. And I proudly say I, I was spearheading that project and sometimes not, not to exaggerate, but sometimes I say I am father of 5G radios in India. Over the past three or four years, I have played a pivotal role in generating almost $100 million worth of uh, product design services revenue uh, at STL and VVDN. And uh, it was a significant because uh, these kind of complex products were never designed and developed in India. And gaining the trust of our customers, getting, getting the trust of clients who can trust in Indian engineering teams on the capabilities. So that, that was a great uh, achievement. And these experiences not only aligned my professional journey, but also uh, helped me and they, they, they uh, instill me with the deep sense of pride and accomplishment. As I reflect on the milestone achieved, I am filled with gratitude for the opportunities and the, the path of career which came across me. So what are some qualities you look for as a leader? Okay. So in my perspective, a leader is characterized by their delegation and support attitude. In my opinion, a true leader simply does not do the things for others. They enable and empower the people around them to execute each of the uh, action activities and help them to reach to new heights. Now, this ability to delegate effectively comes from trusting people, having faith in ourselves as well as trusting people. A leader must overcome numerous insecurities to delegate effectively while maintaining the confidence also. Mm. The other part of it is this providing support to the team members. So whether it is a technical knowledge or addressing the human issues or resolving the logistical issues, these are the other cornerstone of the leader for their team, even if they are not always visible, but the leader is always there. So in my opinion, leadership is not about being in spotlight. It's about enabling others to shine. It's about fostering the environment where everyone feels valued, supported, empowered to achieve their full potential. That's the essence of true leadership in my perspective. So how and when did you develop an interest in ESG and corporate governance? That's a very interesting question and uh, I, they're very important uh, uh, from my perspective. Earning money is undeniably crucial for any business. We all agree to that. right? It uh, sustains, the op sustains the operations and drives the growth. However, in my perspective, a business only focused on profits and creating revenues fails to deliver significant value to society. The impact of a successful or unsuccessful for that matter, the impact of business extends far beyond the financial metrics. It resonates within the socio-economic eco ecosystem and environment. Take for instance, a petrochemical industry. While it maximizes the use of its byproducts to create compounds like polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, PVC, etc. The harmful effects of these products are well documented and reaching to dangerous levels. 
economically it makes sense but at the same time they are very dangerous to overall socio economic ecosystem and environment in recent years organizations are increasingly being held accountable for environmental consequences of their operations it might be coming from their sourcing value chain production processes or the disposal of waste and end of life products now let's talk about telecom industry specifically so in telecom industry we feel it's an essential service without a special focus on energy efficiency and sustainability this industry risk causing more harms than benefit maybe right recognizing this the leaders in telecom industry are actively addressing the energy efficiency and sustainability concerns particularly with the advent of new technologies like 5g ai ml based services or blockchain mining crypto so energy saving features are very crucial and they have become the very essential aspects of product development in this sector so to conclude i feel the businesses must prioritize not only the financial success but also the broad, broader impact on the society and the environment by embracing responsibility and sustainability they can contribute positively to the world while ensuring the long term viability and success of their business so as an esg and corporate governance expert what values do you bring to the table okay so in my opinion while executive leadership in all the business houses is indeed cognizant of environmental and social responsibilities the inherent pressures of maximizing the production yield revenue generation shareholder returns often these takes more precedence over environmental responsibilities and that is but obvious in such scenarios independent directors play a crucial role by offering a broader perspective and ensuring appropriate weightage is given to all aspects of the business sustainability with my deep and diverse engagement spanning over past more than two decades now i feel myself well positioned and equipped to guide executive teams and foster a culture of environmental social and governance consciousness with the organization within the organizations i am committed to instilling these habits that prioritize environmental goals while balancing operational imperatives in my capacity as an independent director my aim is to contribute to the long term growth and success of organizations by advocating for de risking strategies and achieving sustainability objectives throughout my professional journey i have successfully spearheaded initiatives such as zero waste to landfill energy saving measures in the 5g network and implementation of lead free soldering techniques so these are few examples by which i am able to showcase that yes these are part of my professional life by leveraging my experience and expertise i endeavor to drive organizations towards sustainable practices that not only mitigate the risk but also create a value for stakeholders and society at large together we can pave the way for a future where business success aligns seamlessly with environmental and social responsibility thank you So, what are your observations and foresight on technological advents, namely IoT, AI, ML, blockchain, cloud, digital twin, big data, and Web three point two in the telecom industry? Yeah. So, we are living in the era of fast growing technologies, and yes, telecom industry is also undergoing a large scale transformation, driven by a convergence of emerging technologies like IoT, artificial intelligence, machine learning, blockchain, cloud compute. digital twin big data analytics web 3.0 these are few of the names iot is revolutionizing revolutionizing the telecom sector by connecting billions of devices and enabling seamless communication between them this connectivity facilitates efficient management of networks predictive maintenance is another example and the personalized customer experience mm. the number of use cases you can create using iot is enormous you think of it and uh, there are possibilities to implement it on the other side artificial intelligence and machine learning they are enhancing telecom operations by automating the processes optimizing the network performance 
enabling the predictive analysis and proactive use case issues resolutions. And these technologies also power intelligent customer service solutions and personalized recommendation and, and end into enhancing customer satisfaction loyalty. Blockchain is gaining a lot of traction nowadays, especially into telecom industry also. It ensures the data security, seamless uh, trans transactions, especially in the distributed uh, network and distributed database uh, systems. Cloud computing is enabling computer operators to scale their infrastructure. Of course, the virtualized networks and virtualization of services, edge services, these are practical aspects now, not in infancies. These are deployed everywhere nowadays. Yes. So cloud also facilitates the adoption of virtualized network functions, supports the development of innovative application and services. Digital twin, of course, it is also revolutionizing the network management by creating virtual replicas of physical assets, not only in telecom, but various other industries. And I'm very much interested and deep engagement into uh, various such uh, digital twin use cases. These enables uh, operators to real-time monitoring, predictive maintenance, uh, predictive optimization, and better network performance. Big data analytics, this is another, another feather in the uh, technology roadmap. So it empowers the telecom operators to extract the valuable insights from the subscriber behavior, the volume of data they are generating every day, utilizing that into the network operations, customer interactions, IoT devices, and decision-making to enhance the operational efficiency. And it represents the next revolution of the internet, okay? characterized by the decentralized user-centric platforms and applications. Your websites are not hosted in the particular data center anymore. They are hosted at different distributed nodes. They support peer-to-peer -peer communications, a better and minimal delay-based uh, content delivery, new business models using the blockchain along with web 3.0 and smart contracts. So in conclusion, the convergence of all these technologies, IoT, AIML, blockchain, et cetera, et cetera, is reshaping the telecom industry. It's driving innovation and improving operational efficiency. And at the end, it is delivering the better and enhanced customer experience. Telecom operators are embracing these technologies and advance advancements and these are well positioned to thrive in the digital era that's my perspective yeah. so we're building a community here of industry magnets the move is meant for cross pollination of knowledge and building a knowledge sharing community of corporate giants mm -hmm. and industry experts what are your thoughts about this initiative taken by mr zishar bathar mr hevel mehta and the whole world development cooperation team mm -hmm. so uh, i have very uh, mm -hmm very uh, bright uh, opinion about it so uh, to give my background so uh, like uh, to, to give the background from uh, my understanding first so i agree there exists there are two worlds in the world one is for successful executives one is of successful executives in the uh, business houses and the other world where passionate and knowledge drums are there right now marriage between these to creates one plus one, 11 kind of situation, right? These initiatives by Hevel and Jishan is a great move. When objective is true and high, results ought to be great. There is no doubt in that. By investing in these initiatives that promotes the pollination of knowledge and cultivation, a robust knowledge sharing community, corporate giants and industry experts can drive innovation, foster collaboration, and collectively address the complex challenges and opportunities in the modern business world, and especially in the ever-changing technology domain. That's my perspective. Great, sir. It was fantastic conversing with you, and I'm confident that your insights will truly inspire future leaders. Thank you so much for joining us today, and wish you the best for your future endeavors. Moreover, trust that this initiative by Directors Institute unquestionably has expanded the participants' understanding and enriched their minds. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. It was very nice to be with you, Tanay, today. Same here. Have a great day, Ed. Thank you. Bye.